So I've got some wrestling news if you guys want to hear about. Yeah, that. wrestling news. Okay. I thought they were not doing anything. Well, that's interesting, Aaron. What? Uh, well, before I get to that whole story, first a bit of a sad story. Um, uh oh. Well, a very sad, a very sad story. Uh, Howard Finkel passed away today. Oh, I know that dude. He was one of the uh, like announcers, right? Yep, he was one of the ring announcers. Yeah, he passed away at the age of sixty nine. Jeez, nice. sixty nine. How long has he been working? Because I uh, remember him back in the day. Well, he was hired in nineteen seventy five. Yeah, and oh. I think he was the primary announcer until like two thousand. Gotcha. Okay. I don't recognize like more recent pictures, but I recognize this old picture of him. Mm-hmm. The Fink. The Fink. Yeah, I recognize the Fink. I remember that guy, and what was his name? Gene? Gene Okerlin. Gene, I remember Gene. Yeah, Gene. I remember one of the first times I saw Gene in like a YouTube compilation or something like that. Just Andre the Giant grabbed his face. <laughs> it was like a baseball. It was the size of a baseball in his hand. Yeah. Jeez. And then, so as far as wrestling goes, so... um. Wrestling for a while there wasn't having any places where they could film. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and that's true for like UFC as well, which was also trying to go forward. So AEW uh, a few weeks ago they took some of the wrestlers and they taped like say five weeks of footage for their weekly TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do when that footage is up, but wrestling decided instead to go back to live TV. Okay. Oh. Okay. Three days a week. You mean like WWE? Yeah. So Florida uh, classified the WWE as an essential business. Hmm. Okay. okay. And that huh. was coincidentally <laughs> about a week after the WWE gave a few million dollars to the Republican Super PAC, uh, which uh, there's a Republican uh, governor in Florida. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Lobbying, also, man. Money yeah. buys votes. You know, correlation doesn't mean causation, Rick. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. just a coincidence. Okay. They yep, happen sure is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I'll... how do they justify that it's an essential business? Uh well, so the way it's classified is any sporting event that has a national audience is considered an essential business. And it's something to do with like the culture of America or something like that. I forget what the exact mm. wording is. Uh, so, you know, it, it's open to more than just WWE, but yeah. WWE seems to be the only one that's taking part in it okay. right now. Well, so uh, it gives because... them a place that they can film and start doing their live shows, right? Yeah, and it, it, it's crazy that they're doing that live again, because at <laughs> least if you tape, like, five weeks ahead of time, right? Like, uh-huh. if you were one of those wrestlers, you could go wrestle, you could then, like, quarantine yourself for a couple of weeks, and then maybe see your family or something before you have to go back three weeks later. But with these wrestlers now live... Uh, three days a week, depending on the wrestler. Like, they're just going to have to live in a hotel in Florida, I guess, until all this is over, or else they risk exposing their families if they decide to go home. Uh, who knows exactly how long this whole situation is going to last. And then, not only is all this happening, but they also have had massive layoffs and firings as well. Oh. Oof. Okay. I imagine like uh, wrestlers are like probably to pay for the, the two million or several million dollar payout for the <laughs> Republican. So WWE is not in any danger of going out of business or even really losing money because of their TV deals and their Saudi Arabia deals. They're making hundreds of millions of dollars in profit, and there's almost nothing that can happen that will change that. Um, but they decided to to uh, save money that they're supposedly lo- losing in the crisis uh, they have laid off a couple dozen wrestlers and several backstage talents as well uh, the the non-wrestlers are on an unpaid furlough so they may be brought back into the company after all this is over mm-hmm. but the wrestlers were just let go from their contracts wow. and they also all have at least I think it's 30 day non-compete clauses so, but there's also no wrestling to go do anyway. Yeah, you can't yeah. compete right now anyway, so. Unless you're in the WWE. <clears throat> Take 30 days off, and then you can go find someone else when this stuff hopefully passes over, you know? I guess. So, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, there's some 
the names of who have been released so far, you guys won't have heard of most of them, but I'll go through the resters real quick here. Uh, Dr- Drake Maverick, Kurt Hawkins, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows, which is interesting in that they just re-signed a huge money deal, but were let go. Uh-huh. EC3, Leo Rush, Eric Young, Heath Slater, Aiden English, Kurt Angle, which you may have heard of. Oh, yeah. Sarah Logan, referee Mike Chioda, which he's been with the company for like 31 years now, I think. Dang. He's got let go. Uh, yeah, are these all the let goes, or are some of these also the... These are all the let goes. Oh. Dang. Uh, Eric Rowan, Primo Epico, Mike and Maria Canellis, who mm. are married... Zack Ryder, No Way Jose, and Rusev. Hmm. Rusev? Oh, no. It was not his day. So I believe all the wrestlers were told in texts after the conference call happened saying that all this stuff was going to happen. Like, to the investors. Yeah. Uh, Lance Storm, Billy Kildman, Mike Rotunda, and Dave Fit fin- Finley, Pat Buck, Sean Diviardi, Scott Armstrong, Sarah Stock, and Shane Helms are like agents and producers and stuff. They've been the put on a temporary scenes. suspension without pay. Gotcha. Suspension? Isn't that like yep. a disciplinary? <laughs> so they're doing this where other companies, such as Ring of Honor, who can't run shows and are losing and aren't making money, are still paying the wrestlers that were mm-hmm. scheduled for dates that aren't happening. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy stuff. Well, who would have thought WWE and Florida both would have bad behavior? <laughs> yeah. yeah Flo- Florida's always in the news. Yeah. So that's wrestling. That sucks. I mean, that's it's one of those things where, like, I don't mean to get political, but it's kind of like Trump. Like, Trump, he does so many things that if any other, like, politician would have done one of those things, they would have been like, oh, this is fucking over. But they just do so many things. You're just like, eh, par for the course. Whatever. It's not a big deal, you know? Like, will there be any re- repercussions for WWE for those bad practices, you know? Like, it's it, ridiculous. It was funny. I mean, it was funny the other day because there was a, uh, there was like some kind of live thing that Melanie was watching. That uh-huh. was Trump talking about coronavirus and different things. Yeah. And I wasn't watching it. I was watching something else and doing stuff on my computer and stuff. But she was on the computer behind me. And I just hear like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, she's just like yelling at the screen. He's like, I don't understand. Why is he here? And I'm like, I don't know, Melanie. Dude, just, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what's going on. She's it's, talking about something unrelated to anything, and talking about I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the 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 funniest thing I saw this last week was uh, Trump being like, you know, I have the authority over these governors to tell them when they have to reopen these states. And people were like, no, you don't. The governors have that authority. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'm gonna let the governors have the authority to you know <laughs> they're allowed to do that now. And they're like, you just said that you don't that you still don't have any authority over that. <laughs> Uh, Daisoka brought up something I forgot too. So uh, Vince McMahon is on Trump's um, council that he made about like reopening America. Mm-hmm. He's one of his like top guys in that as well. He's on the council, but did he grant him the rank of master? Uh, no, no. He did not grant you the rank of master. Uh, it's outrageous. Have a and seat, of Linda McMahon Whiteley. Uh, <laughs> used to be in charge of small business in the uh, like cabinet, yeah. but gotcha. Is no longer interesting. Interesting. Trump was on in a wrestling event. One he time, was right. Was it Stone yeah, Cold he... that like punched him or something? Uh, Trump is in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, Some, I think <laughs> I think Stone Cold like stunned him or something. I remember watching something. I think it was Stone Cold. But so is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, well, I, I feel yeah. like he deserves to be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I, personally, I don't like the guy. I think he's a terrible president, but he's got some shit that no other president can say they did. I mean, <laughs> it's just it's outstanding. 